Hi, this is my first real Arduino project. I'm simulating a burglar alarm for a house. Um, I think I'll just take you, give you a brief overview of what the com different components are. So over here, we um, have pins to represent the front door and its opening and closing, and also a pin here to represent one of the zones that you would normally find on a burglar alarm system. Normally, typically, you would find at least four or five of them. Um, for this experiment, I've just got one of them. Over here, we have... Uh, two LEDs representing the arm status of the alarm and a single button here representing a keypad um, which you would typically find in an alarm system as well. Uh, this is this only has the one button and it just observes the number of key presses rather than comparing uh, an input code against um, a stored value um, just for simplicity. If I choose to expand at a later point, I probably will do that. And probably can't see it here but next to the buzzer is a blue led which simulates the firing of uh, firing of the alarm um should it be triggered so i just plug it in uh, a bit stiff yeah so you'll see first of all straight away that the green led is on that um, indicates that the alarm is in a disarmed state so we'll go ahead and arm it uh, just by pressing this four times, three, four. So here, representing opening the door. So typically, what you would find is I, this is quite difficult to do with a camera. Um, so there we are. That's the circuit now closed. So it's waiting for about 10 seconds um, just to see if you're going to open the door again. So in this case, yep, I forgot my handbag or whatever. I'm going back in. Okay, handbag's now retrieved. I'm going back out. Okay, so the red LED is now on, which looks amber, more yellow through the camera, don't know why. Um, that indicates that the alarm is now in an armed state. So um, I come back at the end of the day, I want to come back in the house, I open the front door again. It's now prompting me to put my code back in, so if I do so now. There we are, so the alarm is now deactivated. And I want to go back out again. So that's the alarm now armed or attempting to be armed again. Okay, alarm is now activated. Now, while I'm out, a malevolent character decides he wants to open my window and have a look around my house. So if he does so, the alarm will sound and it scares him away, hopefully. And even if he tries to shut the window again, because the circuit's been broken once, it doesn't deactivate the alarm, as you would expect in a typical alarm system. So I come back later in the day, open the door, and I deactivate my alarm. Fortunately, you realise that nothing's gone. I hope. So, another, um, another scenario that I've catered for with this is if I, um, if I set the alarm, go in, uh, uh, sorry, go back out. And then I decide to come back in the house and I'm faffing about, uh, I forget my key code or I'm dithering doing something that um, doesn't involve deactivating the alarm. After about 20 seconds, the alarm should sound again, as again, as you would expect with a typical alarm system. And then when I finally got finally get around to doing it, I will then go ahead and deactivate it to stop the neighbours from being annoyed. And that basically concludes it. It's quite a simple project. I just thought I'd show off my first my first attempt. Thank you.